Elderly man is out of at least $17,000, and deputies say that the health care worker who was supposed to care for him is responsible. The Cherokee County Sheriff's Office now has a big warning for families of disabled seniors. Tonight, the victim's son tells Fox 5's Rob DiRienzo that health care workers exploited his advanced dementia for a quick buck. Investigators say the home health aide was milking the 77-year-old man's bank account for months, all the way since January. His son tells Fox 5 that she would use his dementia to her advantage. She took his credit cards, his ATM cards. Cherokee County deputies say 48-year-old Ebony Michelle Mitchell used her elderly patient's wallet as her personal piggy bank. The victim's son says they hired her to take care of him. Instead, she took advantage of him. She was holding his cell phone up to his face and having him use his voice as his identification. Mitchell now faces six felony counts of exploitation of an elderly person. She was working with the victim since January, and in that time, detectives say she did a lot of shopping. Purchase a car, uh, pay her rent. Uh, repairs on her vehicle, uh, purchased jewelry and furniture. She even used his information uh, to attempt to get a, a $400,000 uh, home loan. Cherokee Sheriff's Captain Jay Baker says even though that loan didn't go through, the damage was already done. He says anyone looking for senior care needs to do their homework, but also, especially at first, they need to keep a close eye on their loved one's belongings. Check their credit card records. Um, if there are valuables in the home, make sure that they're secure. Captain Baker says she stole at least $17,000 and their investigation isn't over. His son thinks it's much more and he believes it's possible there are other victims out there. She was so incredibly proficient at this that I can only imagine that she has done this to someone else. Again, this case is still very active, and anyone who thinks they could have fallen victim, Cherokee deputies want to hear from you. Mitchell is now free on about $17,000 bond. I tried to call her to get her side of the story, but I couldn't reach her for comment. Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.